That contentious statement from the new press secretary happened right here behind the lectern in the briefing room. On Sunday, frankly, President Trump was a little bit more measured in his tone. He's got a full day one on tap today, signing executive orders, meeting with business, labor, and congressional leaders, including a private visit with the House Speaker Paul Ryan. Kicking off his first full week in the White House among President Trump's first acts, overseeing the swearing in of his senior staff. This is not about ideology. This is about country, our country. Mr. Trump thanking first responders and notably reaching out to FBI Director James Comey, a lightning rod for his handling of the Clinton email investigation. He's become more famous than me. <laughs> Just hours old, the Trump administration is already drawing battle lines. Good evening. Making his uh, debut in the guys. White House briefing room, Press Secretary Sean Spicer didn't unveil executive actions, instead unleashed on the media, accusing reporters of misrepresenting the size of last Friday's crowd. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. Spicer is disputing photos that unfavorably compare the attendance for Trump to the estimated 1.8 million spectators who witnessed President Obama's first inauguration in 2009. These attempts to lessen the enthusiasm of the inauguration are shameful and wrong. That issue of enthusiasm a sticking point for Team Trump that said the president was, quote, given a mandate by the American people despite losing the popular vote by nearly 3 million. Among Spicer's false claims, arguing floor coverings were used on the mall for the first time, highlighting empty spaces. In fact, this photo shows similar coverings being used four years ago. On Meet the Press, Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway defended Spicer's answers. Why did he do that? It undermines the credibility of the entire White House press office no, it on doesn't. day don't one. Be so, don't be so overly dramatic about it, Chuck. What it, it, you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. But the point remains Wait a alternative that facts? There's... Alternative facts, four of the five facts he uttered. The hey, one Chuck, thing he why, got hey, right Chuck. was Zeke Miller. Four of the five facts he uttered were just not true. Look, alternative facts are not facts, they're falsehoods. Conway also reversed course on a repeated campaign trail promise that Trump would release his tax returns after an audit. I'm under a routine audit and it'll be released and as soon as the audit's finished it'll be released. The White House response is that he's not going to release his tax returns. We litigated this all through the election. People didn't care. They voted for him. Not in dispute this morning the massive crowds that followed the inauguration at Saturday's Women's March from LA to Chicago to Paris. More than a million demonstrators worldwide. This is peaceful. People are happy. People are thrilled to be here and excited. On Twitter, President Trump first dismissed the rallies, was under the impression that we just had an election. Why didn't these people vote? Less than two hours later, praising the protests as a hallmark of our democracy. Mr. Trump is also taking heat from former CIA director John Brennan for his trip to the Central Intelligence Agency. I love you. I respect you. There's nobody I respect more. The president blamed the media, calling reports of friction with the agency a fabrication. They sort of made it sound like I had a feud with the intelligence community. A claim that ignores his own words earlier this month, including a blistering comparison while accusing the intelligence community of leaking unverified lewd information about him. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. And that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. Trump acknowledged that he was speaking in a special place in front of the stars that honor fallen CIA officers, uh, but critics took issue with Trump, who at times touted himself. Trust me, I'm like a smart person. Former director Brennan tore into Trump for a despicable display of self-aggrandizement in front of CIA's memorial wall of agency heroes. The Donald tumultuous John first few days Trump causing concern, even among some senior Republicans. Do you have utmost confidence in President Trump? I do not know, because he has say, made so many comments that are contradictory. But I think the fact that he's appointed uh, and nominated these outstanding individuals is bound to be an encouraging sign. President Trump will meet with the British tri uh, Prime Minister this Friday here at the White House. He'll also hold meetings soon with the Canadian and Mexican leaders to begin, as he says, renegotiating NAFTA. That's one big campaign promise. And one other note from behind the walls here in the West Wing, where it's all about location, location, location. The big corner office is going to go to Reince Priebus, the chief of staff, as it traditionally does. But the small office closest to the Oval will go to Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Matt.
All right, Peter, thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.